Welcome back to Silver Run Forest on Farming Simulator 22 Platinum Edition for episode 6 with me, Mr. Sealy P. So at the end of the last episode, I did talk about getting the JCB ton handler, and I am denied and thought, oh, shall I, shan't I, shall I build up a bit of money first? And I thought, well, if I'm going to build up money first, which is going to involve doing logging, I might as well make my life a little bit easier <laughs> and get it now. That's why at the start of the video, I was on 31,000, but I hadn't been, I think I was on 17, and I did those two uh, log delivery contracts, and now I'm just building my money back up, so I've got... I'm going to do a load of log delivery, whether it be on the back of the lorry, whether it be shipping containers. I'm just going to deliver lumber. Um, I've got the Mantrid lightweight on the back, two ton, two yeah, two thousand kilo, yeah, two ton. I've got the big bag handle on the front of the, the JCB, and as you can see, rather than picking up one log at a time, I can pick up a whole cluster of them, which makes life. So it does make life easier, but also it's that what I've been saying is speeding up your processes. So I know I'm going to be doing a lot of logging. I know I started out with just a chainsaw, then we got the skid steel loader, and then you know we, we're kind of gradually working our way up. And if we're going to be doing a lot of logging, after a while you will reach a point where you're thinking, okay, this is taking too long. Between this and what I've got to do next, I need to do X amount of logging, I need to get X amount of lumber, I need to fill up my sawmill, I need to deliver this, I need to, you know, produce whatever. Um, so you want to speed that up, and that's this is the next step of doing that. I'm also wondering whether or not this, because the skid still wouldn't do it, whether this will pick up um, a shipping container, an empty one, not a full one, obviously. Um, so we'll see how we go. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of let this this little clip run a bit, and um, we'll uh, build some more money up. Next time I see you to talk to, um, hopefully we'll be into October. There'll be a few more bits, clips and stuff, and I'm going to keep taking on uh, wood delivery contracts if they come up. And I'm also thinking about what I'm going to do. I might lease the next wood harvester up from the one I got simply because I'm finding the one I got, the um, Lizard 560, won't do girthier trees. Um, and the, the girthier trees are where the money's at. So, I mean, there's money in all of them, but obviously if you can fill your trailer up with uh, larger trees. So that's what we're going to do.
October swings around and here we are. Oh, there's so much I want to do, so much I want to show you. I've got another shipping container. I've been using these like Billio, whatever that means. Uh, I've got a load of lumber that I need to uh, load into this. That should, well, it depends what the price is at the moment. Actually, now we're into a new month. But um, what else we got to do? Up at the old sawmill, we've got a load of pallets ready to be dispersed and delivered to various different places. Planks, long and planks, I need to be delivering to get some floor tiles underway. And I want to bring, I think we've got, we should have wood beams up at the sawmill. I want to bring some stuff down here for some more of the uh, roller coaster to get underway. Wood beams, planks, planks long. Uh, yeah, floor tiles that I need. And then I need to do staircase railing at some point. But anyway, that all being said, um, I'd worked out a deal with the sawmill. Now, the sawmill has a surplus of planks available pallets of planks and it's a bit like a all-you-can-eat buffet so you can go along and you can take them they don't mind gets rid of them gets them off their hands um, whether they're rough stock or whatever it is but it's like an all-you-can-eat buffet in that you, there is the limit although the intimation is there isn't a limit there is a limit they don't want you just you know demolishing everything so at some point you'll be asked to leave so I, I wasn't gonna go mad I was gonna get a few but there's a dilemma at hand. Now, the dilemma was brought to my attention by Gogglepop. So thank you very much, Gogglepop, for hitting me up and letting me know. One of my Discord creators, moderators, admins, uh, the guy's a legend. All the guys on my Discord, the guys that set it all up, brilliant guys. Um, to say that, was I aware, or what is believed, is that the free planks you can get over at the sawmill, the south sawmill, are only free if you're using the liftable pallets mod by Yoss, which I have got installed. If you uninstall that, you have to pay for them. I wasn't aware of that. I didn't know as with, uh, actually I'm gonna head out to, because I wanna show you, um, this works as well. I did it with the skid to load it. It works just as well with the telehandler. Look, I've just attached with my straps to the back of the trailer. It will pull it along so I can still go and do my log transport delivery. What I was gonna show you was that incremental uh, increase from loading logs on with the grapple um, head on the skid steer loader, the teleskid, then using the big bag handler on the teleskid, now using this with a weight on the back, how much quicker you can get these log contracts done is astonishing. Just a quick cough stop there. <laughs> you have to have a moment again. So we're up to 368,000. I, I've, I've put some time in, I've put some hours in. We've done a fair bit of logging. Um, some of it, like I said, about getting the larger, I've given back, I only leased it, I've given back the Lizard 560 tree harvester. Um, so some of the trees I was still having to do manually, which is, again, it's fine. It, it just took a little bit longer, that's all. But it's doable. But alongside this log contract, which I've taken on here, which I'm going to stop about there, I think. I've taken on the biggest log contract I've had to date. Now, you may have already had contracts of this size. I've been doing some 9, 10 logs, some 14s. So I think 19 has been the highest I've gone to. This one, 17 grand, 31 trees. I haven't done 31 yet. That's the biggest one I've had so far, which is pretty cool. But anyway, so what I was going to show you was... utilizing this let's get the lights on I'm not gonna do all of it now obviously it's not realistic in the amount I'm gonna carry of course it's not but if you want to get speed up this process and get it done quicker then you know and you want to make money now I can grab the logs normally it will strap around and whatever but if I go out a little bit further and grab a few that's actually more than I was intended to grab will it lift those it will okay fair enough so I've sped up my log loading time by six because I was doing one at a time I wasn't I had this is the most I've done actually normally I do about four but okay we'll go with six and when it's not <laughs> yeah take it with a pinch of salt but it just it does prove the point kind of it can be done with enough weight over the back axle it probably shouldn't be but so if I get those just over and then tip them to about there and then drop <laughs> Jibbity jobbity. You can see how quickly you can load up a trailer. 
so that was the first thing I was going to show you. Um, we need to go up, like I say, to the sawmill and grab planks and stuff. But I'm going to go to the south sawmill because I have got some I pre-ordered. But because of the message that I received from uh, Goggle Pop about that, what I also did yesterday in um, September was I um, I set my north sawmill, the old sawmill, to producing planks as well. Originally I didn't, I said I wasn't going to bother because I knew I could get them. So the dilemma is, do I continue with the liftable pallets mod and say to myself, look, I can still, you know, I can still get them free if I want to from the south sawmill, or as I've already started doing, produce them at my north sawmill and just go with that. I, I should just really get the ones from my north sawmill. I think that's really what I should be doing. How many I've produced, I'm not too sure. So we're going to go up to the North Sawmill, we're going to grab some pallets of things, and we're going to get them dispersed around the, the gaff. But I think I'm going to go and grab ones from the... Um... Actually, what I'm going to do... Uh... Oh, it doesn't really matter, does it? I was going to put them the opposite way around, but I don't really mind too much. This is in lieu of having the big Volvo with the grapple. <laughs> But if you've got a wheel loader with a big bag handler, it will do the same thing. So, that's that done. The other thing I'm going to do before the end of the episode, I'm going to load up another shipping container and I'm going to lease the, I say the next one up. There are so many tree harvesters available. You can pick and choose whichever ones you want. But I'm going to go for that tracked one that came, uh, that came with, with all of this, all of this gubbins. I'm going to use that because I want to give it a go. Um, it's the one you start with if you know if you want to start with it. I chose not to because I wanted to kind of build up to it. I after these couple of contracts, I would have enough to buy one, but then it leaves me with no money at all. Like I say, I'm probably going to end up just leasing again, aren't I? So what I'm going to do is to, got to be so careful. I have tipped this over a couple of times. If you go over uneven terrain, because the back axle turns. As you can see, it has, has on occasion tilted quite badly and tipped over. But what you can do, because you've got the new winches, if you've got something with a winch, even if it's a small vehicle which would normally pull, if you prop that small vehicle against something, a tree for example, you can actually run the winch out to a set of logs on the trailer and you can re... re-tilt? Re no, you can... You can make it upright again. So now I do going back. There's a reverse of this and we'll be good to go. Right. So I will take this and deliver it. I'll do the 31 logs off camera. We'll do it later on. Um, because I've, you've seen me doing these. Um, I just wanted to show you with another vehicle. Another option. Another alternative. You know. Like I say. How you go about it. It's in touch to you. This is just. You know, lights off. Engine off. Hop out. So I suppose what I should do, thinking about it, should do that really. Away with ye! Uh, so yeah, we'll go to the South Sawmill, we'll pick up some logs. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, you know, like I say, as far as I'm aware, I have been informed, it is the liftable pallets mod by Yoss. So you've got two options now. I'm not advocating cheating I, I, I just had the mod installed anyway as a matter of course because I prefer it for some of the pallets to be able to lift them onto trailers and stuff like that. I don't always do it you've seen me doing stuff with forks big bag hand and stuff like that um, but obviously if you know that now you could install it I guess and so yeah the, the choice is yours I'm not advocating I'm not saying this is what you should do I'm just saying that's what I've been told is the situation um, I haven't tested it by uninstalling the mods yet but I've got 10 pallets to go and collect see what I mean look sometimes you get a bit of tip now does that I know I've got the telehandle on the back but it does that sometimes even when the telehandle is not on the back so I'll detach the telehandle on the way past we'll be at the sawmill anyway oh no actually I need to take over what we'll do we'll take over the pickup with the trailer we'll load the trailer on we'll bring the pallets back and we'll take them to the floor tile manufacturer We'll then 
go up and pick up the pallets and stuff. Actually, what I might do is take the skid steer loader, the telly skid. I wonder if I'll be able to lift the pallets up up with this sawmill with that. Maybe. And also, we then, there won't be in this episode, but I've got the sheep pen to do. I need to put the sheep pen in, get the sheep, cut grass, I've got all that to do. Um, and now we've got a bit of money we can afford to, I mean, not the sheep pens I'm going to get. I'm going to get a couple of smaller ones. I think they hold 30 sheep each, they're only about five grand a pop. I'm going to get a couple of those, get some sheep in, and we'll get some, I haven't decided to get mowers or to get the riberi or something, I don't really know yet, I'm quite excited. So I'll see you in a bit. And we'll be over at the sawmill with the pickup. We'll load up with pallets. Um, and it's a case of um, to goggle pop. Planks very much for letting me know. There was something I could go with. Planks very much. Planks a lot. Planks for the memories. You know, I did. There was a whole load. <laughs> planks for watching. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait. I'm here at the South Sawmills head office. Uh, I've been just talking to the owner. And um, the reason they've got a surplus, the reason there's a load left over. You remember I was saying about the roller coaster, how the company that was building it had gone bankrupt. They've got a load of stuff. They've got the equipment. They need someone to deliver more resources. Some of the resources that were already provided by the previous company were planks. They've got a load of them and they're being stored here. That's why they've got a surplus of planks. That's why they're free. They're already here. They've already been bought and paid for. I'll show you what I mean. If you haven't been on here, I, I've shown it on a couple of things now. So as it stands at the moment on here, planks is saying zero. Base price zero, total zero. You can go from one all the way up to ten pallets at a time. It's still zero to buy them because of the liftable pallets mod. But what I don't get, I suppose because the liftable pallets mod hasn't been updated yet, if you go on to the next ones, all the stuff that comes with this, planks, long, wood beams, prefab walls, they've all got a price. Um, planks don't. So that's why there's a surplus. But like I said, only if you've got the liftable pallets mod. So yeah, that's why there's a surplus. I've, I've got 10. I can come and grab free ones whenever I want, if I want. But I am producing them up at the North Sawmill, which I think, now I know that. I thought it was just a glitch in the matrix. And if so, that's fine. They're free. I'll grab them. But now I know why. Yeah, that's what I mean about the dilemma. It doesn't sit as right with me, I don't think. Now, the question is, can I pick all of these up in one go? I don't have to put the fork. The porks? I don't have the porks are long enough. So pick them all up. We're about to find out. Okay. I mean, probably shouldn't, but they are. Away from all gently. Get these loaded on. So these will go to the roller coaster. I'm not going to take these anywhere, I say, where I stand to gain from it. I'm, I mean, the roller coaster is going to take a long time to be done. But because these were left over for the roller coaster, that's where they're going to go. The planks from the North Sawmill at the moment, those ones I will take and they'll go to the flooring. That at least is my dastardly plan. So what I'll do is, just to get them a bit better balanced, let's open them up a little bit. There we go. I told you I'd bring this back over as well to the, uh, the sawmill. I do have access to it if I need it, but it's not mine, it belongs to the sawmill. Right then. Let's strap those down. And then we'll head on head on up to the uh, north sawmill and see what awaits us, what joys. I also want to get um I need to get something to put all those wood chips in. I need to. I haven't checked the wood chip price actually for the last month or so, so I need to check that as well because putting all the offcuts. I've still been doing it as I've been doing logging. I've been doing the offcuts as I go. Actually, you know what I'll do. I think when we get to the um, back to the vehicle store. Oh no, we need to whiz up and get the skids to load. We'll try that. I'm hoping because it was picking up logs, hefty logs. I'm hoping it will pick up the pallets. 
If it won't, I'll just take the telehandler up. It's not a problem. Or I could come back down and grab the uh, the forklift. Either one should do it, but it would make more sense. Because I could leave the uh, skid still loader up there then for doing pallet work. So hopefully we'll get to here. There we go. Why am I being paid for this? But I thought, did I get paid for the iron when I did it for that? I didn't, did I? So it's still saying it needs 4,000 required materials for the next step. Okay, it's taken that. Planks metal. Doesn't seem to want to take any more. Love some wood beam. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's all it was. I just need to move over there. I got paid for them. That doesn't make any sense. I thought you were just delivering stuff here for the roller coaster build. I didn't realise. I'm sure I didn't get paid for the metal. Maybe I did. I just didn't notice. How peculiar. Right. I am going to. Let's lease it. I'm now thinking to myself, do I go in? Oh, I will do it off camera. I'll look at my options and see what other ones are available. But I just want to use this because, again, it's a little bit different. Something stands out, you know. Um, safety frame, yes or no? Better add. It's, this is me after all. Oh, actually, to be fair, the money we just made from selling the... Planks will cover that, so I guess that's... I feel even worse now about the free planks, the fact that it's got paid for them. Right, so we'll get that for the site and we'll use that. We're going to give it a thorough workout to decide whether or not we want to buy one of these or not. Go and grab the skid to loader and we'll go up to the North Sawmill. I'll show you the logging I've been doing so far. It has been fairly extensive across this hillside. Because my original plan was to put sheep up there, then we decided to... We, I keep saying we. We decided to get um, the open fields instead. So now I've got to decide... I mean, I've got an absolute mountain of stump grinding that needs doing because of the amount of trees I've cut. Actually, I haven't checked that. How many trees have we cut so far? The Royal We. You've been along with me for the ride. How many have we done? Trees cut down, 168. Okay, that's a fair few. <laughs> 35 hours. Not as much as some people, but then I'm not that far in, honestly. Uh, what I will do, let's drop that down. Disconnect. So I cut a load of the trees here. I've been leaving the smaller trees and the dead standing. I did couple of, cut a couple of dead standing by accident. By mistake, by accident. Oh, I've got all of that. I forgot I had all this here. That needs to go up and be sorted. Yeah, that's dead woods. That's not worth anything, um, unfortunately. And I've cut all the way along here on this plateau. And there's almost, it's like a little track here. I don't know if you can see it's a darker brown in the middle. Like a roadway. I don't have to put a roadway, a track in here, maybe. I've run down here. I haven't done that big one there, actually. missed that. A load of trees down here. I've got some more to do up on that hillside there. I've got a dead wood down there, which is no good to anybody. I think I might have still some up here if I used all this. Oh, no, I've got some there that I've piled up. I'm there that I've piled up, so I'm going to fill up another shipping container, no problem at all. And then obviously this is this plot, then we cross over the bridge and we've got this hillside all the way across here as well, all of that. That'll be the next bit, and then I guess what I need to do is start looking at buying a, a new plot of land. 
and I'm going to have to at some point put some trees back in. But uh, yeah, I've got stump grinding and all sorts to do. I am wondering. Um, I did allude to a little while ago about something I was going to try with the Deadwood. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. And I can't remember who it was that messaged me to let me know about it. I want to say Stuart, but I don't know if it was Stuart or not. I've, I've been making notes on bits of paper all over the place. People's names and stuff like that. Um... And it was regarding the, it was one of the Missy B silos, and it was the pro version. Uh, was it liquid? Grain quid, was it the Grain quid Pro? Now the Grain quid Pro was updated to take wood, so you can put lumber into it, and then you can set it, because it's like a factory, you can set it to disperse. So any of your places that need lumber, you can set it to disperse like it will do um, for any other product. So the message was sent saying, you can put logs in there. So sling with the deadwood in there, it works brilliantly. The problem with the deadwood is not the fact you can put it in there or not, it's the leaterage of the deadwood. So I did test it, because um, I thought, you know what, that works, if, because at the moment, the leaterage of deadwood and what you get paid for it and stuff is not worth even bothering with doing the deadwood. You can do the contracts, but there's no point collecting it. So I threw a standard tree in there of the same length. I think it was 21.3 metres, I think, one of the deadwood ones. So I put a standard tree in that I'd done at 21.3 metres, and that came in at something like 8,000 litres of lumber. I put the deadwood tree in, 51 litres. <laughs> 50, that's all. So it wasn't worth bothering with. I, I kind of umdenard about it, and I thought... If it's one of those brilliant things whereby the Grain Quid Pro silo is registering it as a normal tree and it comes out of six, seven, eight thousand litres of lumber, then Deadwood is worth doing, but it didn't. 51 litres was all it came back as, so it just it really wasn't worth bothering. Because I thought if I'm not doing sheep up here, I could put the Grain Quid Pro silo up here and I could put all the Deadwood in it, good to go. But it was not to be, unfortunately. I'm trying to decide what to do about stump grinding. I might go standard stump grinding, or I might go for the Devourer mod, the Rowdy, is it Rowdy Christie one? Um, because that just, I mean, yes, you can do wood chipping with it, but it gets rid of stumps so quickly. There are, there are loads of different mulches out there. There's a whole plethora of ways of doing it. But anyway, I'll see you up at the North Sawmill. Sorry I'm wittering again, but I just, there's all these things on my mind, things that I've been doing, things I've been testing, things people have been messaging me about. Um, and I, I just wanted to, pass the information where I can if things work I'll show you if they don't work I'll tell you you know what I've suddenly realised it's what we used to refer to when I was on the post as dead walking if you've got, a, I've mentioned it before if you've got a, a row of houses maybe on one side of the street and nothing on the other side it might be an open field or whatever you might deliver out but then coming back is dead walking you're walking back without delivering anything so you always try to work out your routes with as little dead walking as possible and double handling that kind of but i've done the same thing i've just come up here with the skid steel loader and the trailer having said i've got all of that lumber down there all the offcuts to put for the wood chipper i should have brought them up with me and i didn't i've just come up here with an empty load and i, I should really have. not that it's, it's not a big problem but i should have done really so Let's pull in here. Back down. Disconnect. My wood chip pile. My wood chip pile is getting rather large. I'm not sure how much is in there, but Again, all off cuts, there's nothing dodgy gone in there. I haven't put thrown any huge trees or anything like that. All through the little wood chip around the back. So, we should have, off the end of these two production lines here, a pallet of each um, long planks and wood beams. Is there lighting under here? Is there lights which I'm missing, or does it only come on at night? Oh, there might be, but anyway, right. So here, on the end of this one, we've got our planks long. Here, we've got our wood beams. But when that's full, obviously, with one on each of those, it stores them over here. 
and like I said, I did set normal planks to go as well. So we have got planks long, so we've got four. We've got any more processing? We might have more than that, but we've got four, so that one and these three. Beams, those two and that one, so we've got three of those. We've got one prefab wall section, which I don't think we need yet, but that's pretty cool. This is what we could do. I've never really seen these being used in the UK very much. They might well be in the building industry. We, we tend to still go bricks and mortar, but these wall sections, I know the Japanese do it quite a lot. They do whole prefab like floors. They just deliver them on a lorry, drop them down, and then when they put the next floor on or the next section on, all the plumbing and pipe work is all there. It all just connects together. It's amazing. Um, but with the insulation sandwiched between, it's such a fantastic way of doing things. And there we go. So we've got some planks here as well. So I'm producing myself too, and I think that's probably the way I'm going to go with it. So um, what we'll do, I'm going to bring the two over and put them there. Then we'll load them up onto a trailer and we'll disperse them. Like I, said, I don't think I need prefab wall yet, but I will take the wood beams down to the roller coaster. Planks will take to the flooring and planks long, I think, because it takes those as well. And we can get the flooring going a bit quicker. Assuming, of course, this will pick these up. That's the reason why it wouldn't, but... I could load these straight onto the trailer, but obviously for thumbnail purposes... <laughs> I want all my stuff in one place. Please work. Yeah, boy! load up from here. I could load the train and send them. There's a clever little hack. Oh, I don't know if I should talk about it. Should I talk about it? Again, I get people get quite angry when I talk about cheats and hacks and things like that. They get quite annoyed. I shouldn't be showing people how to cheat the game. Like, oh, it's not really... it's really um, this was another one Gogglepop messaged me and said were you aware I said no I wasn't and when I tell you it if you don't want to know I'll tell you I'll do a spoiler alert but um, if you don't want to know that's fine and I did message him back and say what on earth made you think to try that and he said I don't know I was just curious it's, like, it's one of those things I would never in a million years thought of trying because I haven't done it on the other map. It's not something I thought... It will become clear in a moment when I explain. But it's one of those... What? <laughs> Why would you do... You know... Please, wood beams. Be good to me. Yep. We are golden. And it's to do with selling things to Elm Creek by train. You can load them up by train, of course you can, which is the immersive way to do it, and you know, it's what you're supposed to do, and it's cool. You send them off, and often the prices at Elm Creek, or I have found so far the prices at Elm Creek have been a little bit higher than everywhere else, they've been pretty good. They're not always. Um, I found wood sold at the shipping, uh, the, the container warehouse, have been a little bit higher than Elm Creek, but well, what I'll do, we'll double check them. Oh, no. Overzealous with the old uh, telescope. Engine. Same thing, I don't, don't think there were lights under here. Um, so yeah, let's check the prices and I'll show you, or talk about what I mean. Let's go down to wood for example. So at the moment, yeah, container warehouse, one nine. Whoa, I'm going to get some more in the containers. Get them cracking. Elm Creek's 1798. Um, what else is going there? I would imagine it'd be a lot of the process stuff that we're making. Actually, I'm curious, how much are the prefab wall sections going for? Dude, ten thousand three hundred seventy-four. So I've got one sitting there already, and the price is falling. So anyway, you can put them on the train. Off they go. If you go up to the north end of the track, there where the train comes in, 
from Elm Creek to head down the map and go around and go back off to Elm Creek. So if you go right along the track, right to where you can't drive any further, you're right at the northern edge of the map. If you turn left just off the tracks, and I mean, so you're on the tracks, you hit the end of the map. If you turn left just off the tracks, as you turn left off the tracks, any palleted goods, including containers, um, will sell. They're, for some reason, so if you don't want to load up the train, I shouldn't be telling you, but anyway, if you don't want to load up the train, I'm not going to go up and do it, but it does work. So you, you can. You probably shouldn't, but you can. <laughs> so yeah, you drive up there with a trailer, just like this, whatever it might be. Just turn left when you hit the end of the map. Oh no, it's starting to rain. No! Go away! Oh no. But it may well be raining. It's not going to dampen my mood or my spirits. I'm having a great old time on here. Loving life. So, I guess I better start loading, haven't I? Can I put up two of these? That's the question. Nothing on. Yeah, actually, I'm going to need to do a couple of runs here, aren't I? Potentially. Shouldn't need to unload at the other end. It should do it automatically, so I can I can really load this up. This is cool. It's, I always like it on when you're on a new map. When there's a new production, there's a new process. There's something to do that you haven't done before. I don't think it's really cool. It's when you produce the first thing of that, you know, whatever it might be. It's exciting. this due to production change. You think we could do wood and we did wood chips before, you know, that was what you could do, lumber and wood chips. With the thing of doing planks and stuff and all the different things that modders have brought to the game and, and then now all of this as well. It's fantastic. Although, I am very excited about getting the sheep sorted out. I know that's weird. Well, I suppose it's not weird, weird is it? Will it let me put two of these in? So I might leave the prefab wall there actually. I don't know, I don't need it yet. I'm gonna have to invest in which one is it that does the um, the stair railings? Is it furniture? Does the furniture one do that? I can't remember who does it. Whoa, okay, that's a bit much. Maybe because they're sticking out that way. I thought it would pick up this way. Extending so far out, maybe. Could just be the weight, but that's a bit better. It was just too much weight out the other way. I'll drive it onto the trailer. If I can get up that little bump. Not too much of a bump, actually. Yep, let's just get the trailer. Right. I'm going to load this all up and I'll see you down there when we're unloading at the various different locations. Let's get stuff delivered. Well, I've got to be careful though. 
Um, plants long. And plant. Oh, actually, no, that'd be right. Because um, the flooring place. Oh no, you need plants long for the. The roller coaster as well. I need to make sure it's over the right things to the right places. I don't want one place to take everything and I don't have anything left, you know. I have offloaded two sets of long planks. I'm going to take those over to the roller coaster. My theory being that the flooring company won't take wood beams, but it will take long planks and planks. So if I take it over there, it should take those and leave the wood beams on, and I take the wood beams to there as well. And yeah, does that make sense? <laughs> We're about to find out. I'm going to take these to the flooring. which is just up here and I think it's to the right again we're about to find out there we go won't take wood beams because it doesn't like them and not this up here personal thing, it just <laughs> doesn't require them. So, let's go to our company then. We've got a few, not a huge amount, but we'll put some more in as we go. Let's get that going and that going, so we should now get some floor tiles being produced, which are going to be required. And I'm going to need railings as well. Um, Railings? I'm sure railings is the furniture store, but anyway, we'll check on that at some point. I'm going to go back and put the beams, no we've got beams, we'll put the other planks on. I'm going to need more and more obviously for the roller coaster and other things as we move forward. Oh, tell you what, I have got enough money to buy. We could go and buy the boathouse. Or do I... I might do that next. I might do that in the next episode. I've got to do the sheep. So many things I've got to do. I've got to sort the sheep out. I've got to get those in. I've got to get fabric going. I want to get the boat else. I don't want to do it all in one episode. <laughs> no, I've done it again. I've already done that once. What am I thinking? Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll just drive these over. I don't know what I mean. Taking the time to load them up. I might as well just. Right here. You know what I mean? Let's go. I'm gonna load up the shipping container. I want to try the um, the new harvester, tree harvester, on a steep slope. I know we've got cable yards and stuff. I haven't used those yet either. I want to do some cable yarding. Curious thing. So we still need some more planks along. Planks, no, planks long. It's gradually eating its way through them, so I'm assuming it just because you can't buy this, this just it just builds, doesn't it? I guess we'll just have to see over a period of time what changes. You can go over these pipes here, you can have a wander around and have a look around the site, but... It's going to be a while off yet, it's going to be a while yet. Well, I know this works, so this will then go, I guess we'll leave this up at the, uh, the sawmill, and then I'll come back to some boards, I can use the JCB down here and down there, I think. I haven't tried lifting a prefab wall section with this yet, though. Fair point.
Right, so what we'll do now is take the beams. I'll just keep bringing stuff here. Floor tiles, it only requires 200 litres here. I put way more in than we need to do floor tiles to start off with, but that's the first stage. And again, the same as doing the sawmill and getting the iron ore stuff over to get the iron furnace working. I might as well get the processes going now. So while I'm doing other things, they can be building up ahead of steam and we can be getting a few things sorted out. Um, what I want to do now is swing that round. should do it. Let's get loaded. I say this this will do it empty but I, I haven't tried lifting one of these full. I wouldn't have thought it would. What does this hold? The six meter one does 21,700 litres I think it is. Lift the empty one, but yeah. Twisted down. That'll do the trick. Let's get those open and ready. So I'm going to take these over to start loading up the trailer and we'll get the harvester over and get up on the hillside and see how we fare with cutting a couple of trees. Uh, that's all I do. That's all I wanted to get done. I've, I've done it again. I've, I've got my little checklist of things I'm, I want to try and get done during this episode. And that was it. All the stuff down from the sawmill get some floor tiles underway, get some stuff delivered for the roller coaster. Uh, show this doing uh, a logging transport contract and then try the harvester on the hillside. Yeah. All good. I might need to get another shipping container actually I'm just thinking the amount of wood that's here we might fill it up really quickly. See you momentarily. Let's do this. I can lift a few more with this as well, which is quite handy. It says that's probably a bit too many, but again, it's working, so let's go for it. Once you've got a nice pile there, it doesn't take long to fill up, especially the six metre ones. I had made a right mistake. I was doing some off camera. The only problem with having the mantrid weight on the back, it sticks out quite a long way. It doesn't like um, sudden changes in, um, in, in incline. Um, yeah, I loaded and loaded onto the trailer and it came up, so I got the warning saying that you're supposed to load up the correct size for the trailer and that you'd be penalised for the... I was like, that doesn't make any sense. I was using that lizard harvester, tree harvester, well, I don't, why would it be wrong? When I checked it, I'd accidentally knocked it from six metres to seven metre lengths, and the last two trees I've cut down, I've done seven metres, not six. So when I tried to put them on there, obviously they were the wrong lengths. I got in trouble. So, uh, yeah, just be careful, you don't accidentally knock it. <laughs> it doesn't like it too much if you do. I mean, it didn't take too much of a hit, but you, you will take a hit. 
do is I try and take these from the angle. It doesn't always drive particularly well with the weight on, but you need the weight on for lifting the weight at the front, you know? Needs must. Yeah, I should have enough logs cut down already to do two containers. And that can go off, because they're paying one nine and above up at the container warehouse, so it's well worth doing. I've been getting a roughly 44,000, 45,000 take off the price to shipping container. About 40 grand, 41 grand for a trailer load. That was when the price was sitting at 1718. So 1.9, 46, maybe 7, which is pretty good. Considering I did an entire um, lumber trailer, 6 metre logs, 2 full stacks. I've got 55 grand at the South Saw Mill. I think that's full. He's way to check. Jump on here. It should say 21,700. 21,700 it is. We're good to go. Right, let's close that up. this here for the next lot. Take that up in a bit. Lights off, engine off. So let's give this a go then. Now I have got, and I'm not quite sure which of the ones you need to have on for this. If you go down to this new setting here where it says wood harvester automatic cut. Now on the right it says tree will automatically cut after the tree has been delimbed. I'm not sure I haven't managed to work out anything to do with that at all. So I've got that to on. Now I had my um, easy arm controls off. And what I'm going to show you now was working perfectly. And then it didn't work the other day. And Jeremy messaged me to say, oh, I think you need to have easy arm controls on. Well, I'm sure I haven't. On my test map, I haven't. I came back on here and it wasn't doing what I wanted it to. So I put the easy arm controls on and it did. And this is another feature that came with the uh, logging update. Again, you may be aware of it, but you may not. I'm going to open up this menu as well, though. Put that on. I've got my tree length to six metres, not seven. <laughs> but what will happen is, as you come close to the tree, I like the tilt on this as well. And this is going up here on the tracks, no problem. You'll get that come up on the tree. If the tree is too thick, the band that shows from in-cab will be red so it won't cut it. If it's like that and it's showing a yellowy orange, if I go L1, it will say align harvester to target tree. We'll do that, put it in position and it will go green. I haven't got to fiddle around, I haven't got to mess about adjusting, I'll just do that. Now I can press cut, lift that up, drag it back. Bob's your uncle. As they say. I'll do that big one see if it'll do that big tree I'll keep it right in front of me rather than to the side small bits don't want to stick those into the containers it doesn't like them so I'll still keep taking those out pile them up to one side they go up to a wood chipper I think next episode as well we'll get a small trailer maybe a small no, 30,000 litre ish maybe I'm just trying to think and we'll go and collect all the wood chips. I'll load them up and we'll see how many we've got so far. Around in front. Like I say, stumps, I've got a lot to do. Should work on this one. I think it's just the really girthy ones. There we go. So we've got a yellowish, yellowish look. If I go to about there. And then we go align go green it doesn't go green sometimes you have to go a little bit higher or adjust it slightly or fold a bit sometimes it'll go green it says oh there we go we had it that went green then.
There we go. Lift, drag back. So it falls the right way. I think myself and this tree harvester will be very happy together. Oh, that wasn't so good. Right in there. And that is where I'm going to end this episode. So, as I've said in every episode, next episode there's still loads more to do. I think we'll look at sheep and possibly get the boat yard. Because if we are processing stuff and we've got more stuff coming, we can start delivering there as well. And I want to get a boat built. Um, come on, there we go. So I think that's what we'll do. Leasing this was a good idea. I'm just... Like I say, I'm going to have a look through the, the relevant brochures to see if there's a cheaper alternative that cuts larger, that kind of thing. If there's not, maybe we'll look at buying one of these. Like I say, I like it because it's different. I, you know, there are all sorts of alternatives, excavators and various different ones. Um, one of the, was it Black Sheep Modding ones or was it North Modding Company? Tracked excavators that we had on FS19 was one of my go-tos. I used it on Homurkra all the time. So we'll see. Um, maybe we will um, look at a different one. Maybe we'll stick with this. I'm just trying to think of one of the other ones up there. I think I've got access to. I'm not sure how much of the land is mine. I'll just keep going up until it says, "Boy, we sent yours, mate." Clear off. This is quite steep. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.